<laughs> I always, you know when you're a keyboard player? You're the, always the one that has to change. The, the person that sings was born that way. So uh, I was always the one that had to go through the agony of transposing or use the transpose button. Okay, another reason you have to know scales? Huh? Oh. Chords. Oh. Chords come from scales. If you don't know, well, you can learn chords without scales, but the chords come from, a, the chords in a song actually come from a given scale. Right? One, four, and five, first, fourth, and fifth step of a scale, if you make it into a chord, is major. Two, three, and six is minor. Okay? And then there's lots of other things. You can add the sevens and the sixes. They, all that, you got to know the scales for eventually. You've got to understand it. You can play them without understanding it, but the chord class that we're going to do will explain all that too. Okay, now, the main reason you have to know a scale is for playing a, a piece, uh, the key signatures. you got to know how to recognize a key signature. So on that paper, I wrote them out for you. Alright, I also wrote the left hand um, scales, because you're not, you shouldn't just learn scales with your right hand. We're going to do hands on here in a minute. Left hand. You've got to know scales with both hands. The finger in for the left hand, look, it's one, two, three, four, five. Use up all of your fingers. Learn the scale first with your right hand, because that'll tell you where the half step is easier. But look, C, D, E, F, G. Then I need three more fingers, right? Third goes over, and there it is. Coming back, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. All right? Same half steps and whole steps, but not as easy as the right hand. Because one, two, three, that half step is right where your thumb goes under. Left hand doesn't work that way. Okay. So, order for sharps. If there is only one sharp in the key signature, and a key signature, what does the word signature mean? Sign. To sign, to verify, all right? To put your approval, your stamp on it. Signature means it's dang important. If you miss it, and you just pick up the song and start playing, eventually, you're gonna go, oh, what is wrong with this song? And it usually means <laughs> there's a little minor detail that you left out, like sharpening all the F's. Okay? So one sharp hanging there all by itself is always F. You know, I had somebody come in here a few weeks ago and they asked me that question. They've been playing for 10 years. And they had a piece of music and they, they just wanted somebody to answer a question they had with it. And I said, well, look at the key signature. What are the sharps? He didn't know. First, he didn't know that, that was, if that was a note, it would be an F. Right? And he also didn't know that the order never changes. If there's only one, it is always F. Always. Did you know that? Yes, because you've been here before. You heard it. All right. First sharp is always F. It means one of two things. The most important thing is you better sharp all the F notes. So you'll see an F here and an F here. It does not affect the chords directly. So don't worry about the chords. We're only talking about the melody at this point. Okay? So if you see a note there or there, you're not going to play it here. You're going to play it there. Okay? All right. So if there's two sharps, they are always F and C. And here's how I remember. Fat cats. Okay? We're going to have a whole saying here in a minute. Now, if you have only one sharp, it's an F sharp, are you playing in the key of F sharp? No. No. You have to know the scale that only has one sharp in it. Oh, Lord. Okay, it's so easy. Look, I wrote it on here. It says, to name the scale, the word, listen, the word key and the word scale mean the same thing. If I say what 
key are you in? I'm basically just asking you what scale did the composer use to write the song? Okay, same key scale, same thing. Okay, so it says, the, to name the scale, parentheses key, just look at the last sharp shown and say the next letter in the alphabet. Look. What? No! You think God's going to help you? Sometimes. Look. <laughs> Look. Name that sharp. F sharp. What comes after F in the alphabet? G. If there's only one sharp, you are playing in the key of G. Done. Don't make it any harder than that. That's it. If there's two sharps, they are always F and C. What comes after C in the alphabet? D. Key of D. That's that simple. The D scale has two sharps, and if you don't believe me, you try it. Okay? And the names of the sharps are F and C. Okay? If there's three, they're always F, C, and G. Fat cats go. All right? There's no H in the, in, the, in the alphabet, right? In music, you only have to know it to G. So after G comes A. Three sharps, key of A. Composer used the A scale to write the song. F, C, G, and D. Fat cats go down. Key of E. Alleys. A sharp, what key are you in? B. Means the B scale has five sharps. Eating. Now, this one's a little different. It should be the, it's not the key of F. It's the key of F sharp. But who cares? You're never going to play a song with that many sharps. So I don't even, yeah, I'll tell you uh, that the last two have a sharp after them. Birds or bagels, I don't care. And it is not the key of C, it is the key of C sharp. Okay? So, order for sharps. Fat cats go down alleys eating birds. Say it. Fat cats go down alleys eating birds. Eventually, you'll just go F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Kind of rhymes. This makes a nice little F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Want to try F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Tell me what you think of me. Or whatever. Okay. So now, if, I, if we have a little test, you pick up a piece of music, and you have four sharps. What are they? F, C, G, and D. Don't say fat cats go down. If you're trying to impress someone, okay? F, C, G, and D. Okay? All right. If I say to you reversed, I say I have, I'm playing a song in the key of E. How many sharps do you have? All you have to do, listen. I want to play a song in the key of E. Just think of one letter before E. What is it? D. And then you count. Fat cats go down four sharps. You just reverse the thought process. I want to play a song in five sharps. What are the names of the sharps? Fat cats go down alleys. Okay. I want to play a song in the key of B. How many sharps in the key of B? Listen, listen. No. Here's your thought process. Key of B. What's the letter before B in the alphabet? A. Then you count up to A. Fat cats go down alleys. There's five. I don't care if you know how to do that. But kind of cool, huh? All right. That's the order for sharks. 